What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Fernando Herrera. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to take your mobile tire shop van to the next level. So again, if you're a mobile tire shop owner, if you're a mobile tire shop operator, or if you're looking to get into the mobile tire shop business, well, I'm gonna be telling you what's the difference between that one guy that has just one van and that other guy that has already three vans and he's killing it. You know, he's like busy, he's, he's on it. And again, because I think there's several characteristics that set these two different types of business apart. And it's important that if you know, again, if you want to win in this game, you're at least aware of what are those differences. So before we continue, please help me by smashing that like button, subscribe. It really helps, you know, other people reach out and, and, and understand and, and learn about the tire industry. And also, thank you so much for, uh, for sponsoring this video, Tirebase, which we'll, we, we will be talking about more about them in just a moment. I'm going here crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. So the number one thing that's going to set you apart again, even if you have just one band compared to the guy that has 100 bands, is the speed of service. You know, really the speed and the reliability it's key when it comes to mobile tire installation. You know, if someone calls you, if someone uh, asks you for a quote, you have to be on it. Most of the time, you know, these could be people stuck at Walmart waiting for a response and they need to make the decision in minutes, not hours. Uh, you know, it, it, it literally, it, it's, it's extremely important that you're fast. So, uh, you know, make sure that your workflow is suited with, you know, portable phone numbers, you're sharing your phone number, or you have apps that, you know, people could really contact you fast, you're checking your emails, or you have a person that's just helping you with all that. But, you know, the, the speed and reliability of customer service is extremely important. And then once you get that customer, it's not just about helping the customer address their questions. Once they book you, is now delivering on that as well. You know, if you said you're gonna be there in two hours, you better make sure you're there in two hours. You know, if you're running late or something happens, you know, make sure you're communicating that with your customer. You know, when it comes to mobile, the experience is it's very different from that of a tire shop, of, of a physical brick and mortar tire shop. And it's a very important that you keep your customer informed. Uh, you know, as long as you keep them informed, most of the time they're very, very flexible. But again, just being able to offer quick, reliable um, uh, service pretty much can really set you apart from competitors and elevate your status. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the service range, right? So you have to make sure what is the service range that I can provide, right? So the smaller, okay, mobile van might only have a small range. You know, I only do this zip code or I only do this city, but the broader, the bigger, the most sophisticated, the, the more busier guy might be able to offer a wider range. Just be careful here, make sure you're pricing it correctly. You know, you're not gonna charge $80 or the same price for a 20 minute drive than compared to like a two hour drive. But you know what, again, if in Las Vegas, for example, there's this, this place called Mount Charleston, it's like an hour and a half and it's like up in the mountain. But if I had some guy that told me, hey, you know what, I really need this and I'm willing to pay for it and I would go and do it, you know, I would just tell him, hey, look, you know what, it's gonna take me two hours to go drive back and forth, it's gonna take me this, the, 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 the slope and whatever, the gas, you know, just the time, it's gonna cost you X amount and let them decide, you know, but again, that alone sets you apart from all those other guys that are just gonna say, no, I can't do it, I'm not interested and boom. On the other hand, the, the other, you know, if you offer a solution, you're much more likely to convert. And if not, if you don't convert this time, maybe in the future, they will at least still consider you. Uh, with the other option, they most likely won't consider you anymore. Also, it's not just about the availability, the availability or the servicing range, but also the services uh, or the range of services that you offer, right? Uh, can you do mobile like flat repairs? Can you do tire installs? Can you do low profile tire installs, run flat installs? Can you do trailer tires? Uh, all these little things, again, the more you can do, the better. So if you can do commercial tires and your van has equipment for passenger tires, well, again, maybe just get the bars and now you can do commercial and passenger, you know, now you, you can do both. Uh, so, you know, something to keep in mind. A, a good story here, and I'm just gonna share a story because why not, but a good story here was uh, before when I was running the mobile van, I would often get calls from people that they wanted to install their spare, but they couldn't because the socket was too hard, or the lug nut was too hard, or they couldn't find their key, their spare key. You know, most of the trucks have like a, a key you put in and you kind of, twisted and then the, the spare starts going down and they didn't have that key. Somebody took it, the kid took it, somebody lost it, whatever, you know? And so those were very frustrating because in the beginning I even couldn't do them because I didn't have the key. 
I don't have a key. So what I decided to do, you know, after a couple of those encounters, I was like, dude, I could just go into Amazon, buy a master key, you know, it's like six or seven of those pieces. And now anytime someone asks me about that, I could be like, absolutely, I'll go and I'll charge you because I have a special key. I can't sell you my key, but I have all the keys. So don't worry, no matter which key you have or don't have, I'll be able to help you. And so people were just happy because they were like, dude, yeah, I mean, I have no choice. It's either this or towing my vehicle and you're giving me a solution, so why not? So again, this just goes to say the difference from an okay van to a really successful van is the wide uh, array of services you can offer. The third thing I do wanna discuss here or talk about is technology. And not just technology, but technology integration. So how well are you um, coordinating appointments? You know, it, it, being a mobile, it's kind of tough because you got to consider traffic, you got to consider weather, weather. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, the job can take a little bit longer than what we would have liked. So, you know, all these things, it's about keeping customer informed and making sure we're managing our appointments and our expectations and our customers all, uh, you know, as, as smooth and efficient as possible. So technology can definitely help you. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Tirebase. Tirebase, hands down the best POS mobile, for, for mobile tire shops, you, like really, they have this portal where you can manage all your appointments, get all your customers quotes. You can still edit and add services as you need. So again, if a customer just hired you for a flat repair, you can then add the tire if it's needed. Uh, you could take pictures, you know, like do inspections. You could do two types of inspections, a pre-inspection so that before you touch the car, you could take picture of how it was and the post inspection, right? Which you could take a picture of how it looks after the fact so that customers don't go and say, oh, you scratched my bumper or you damaged something. You know, you could have proof. And Tirebase helps you with all that. You know, on top of that, Tirebase has been built uh, kind of like in a way for mobile installers. So you can use it with your phone. You're not gonna be having any information not, not showing on your screen. It's, it's mobile friendly. You can take pictures. You can have your customer sign, you know, on your phone, no paper required, no printer. You know, you could send them a text message with their invoice or an email. So again, technology definitely helps you set apart from someone else, you know? So again, do you wanna be that eh, okay installer? Or you wanna be the guy that's really successful, organized and on top of this? Um, because part of the features that Tirebase can do is actually automating uh, messages. So let's say you help this customer get his tire installed and his spare or whatever. And then six hours later, he gets a message and says, hey, uh, we would really love if you could give us a review on Google. And that's part of what we're gonna be talking next, which is reviews. You know, reviews are extremely important. And so by doing that, you might be able to get a lot more reviews and really the shop that just is okay will have very little reviews or the reviews it has, it might be just three stars, four stars. But the guy that's really busy and on it might have hundreds if not thousands of reviews. And that's because again, you keep reminding and telling your customer, hey, review me, give me a review, give me a five-star review, give me, you know, tell me, like tell others that you're happy. Uh, reviews really can set you apart big time. And so it's extremely important that just like traditional tire shops, uh, high ratings and positive customer reviews can really boost your shop reputation, hands down. So, uh, you know, definitely keep that in mind. Reviews, extremely important. You can automate that with Tirebase. Um, so, you know, again, last time I'm mentioning Tirebase, but you know, it's just really a good piece of software. And then finally, this is like really getting, um, this is something that it's not as easy to get like straight off the bat. So if you're just starting, don't worry about this point too much. You're gonna get there if you do everything I've been telling you pretty much, you know, at least you follow the, the advice. I can't guarantee your success, you know, that's up to you. But the next thing is really the fleet size. If you wanna be like an uh, okay shop and, and or wanna be like this guy with multiple vans, then you gotta have multiple vans eventually, right? So once you've discovered the key to success and you're doing well with your one van, you want to ask yourself, okay, what do we have to do to replicate and, and really scale up? Is this business model scalable? And so the number of mobile units a company has or operates can be a sign of success. And so this, uh, again, just boosts your, 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 your status amongst competitors. You know, the moment you can tell I have three vans and we have happy employees and we're servicing X amount of customers, both suppliers, partners, customers will wanna work with you even more because you're doing something right and people call people. The more people that are in some place, 
it's like a restaurant. You know, if you see two restaurants selling the same type of food, but one is really busy and the other one's like literally nobody, just like one person or with the employee. Uh, I would probably go and wait on the busier one because even if I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes, uh, I don't want cold food or there might be a reason why people just don't wanna go to that, you know? So that's something to keep in mind. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you found value in it. If you did, please comment below, share this video with someone you know who's in the tire industry or wants to get in the tire industry. Feel free to reach out to me via Instagram or LinkedIn or email. And uh, again, if you want those three months for free of tire base, uh, be sure to click on the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.